If you are looking for some tips on how to be more happy, then you're in the right place. This is Angela Carter, and I want to share with you a really powerful exercise that I just learned uh, in the book, Happy for No Reason by Marcy Shymoff. And it is uh, a powerful habit that I am going to start implementing uh, to, to be more happy, to have more uh, happiness from within every single day in my life. And so I wanted to share this with you. She said, you know, in the book, um, Happy for No Reason by Marcy Shymoff, she figured out that people who are more happy than other people have certain habits that they practice every single day that makes that makes them more happy. So one of those habits, if you want to learn how to be uh, more happy, is being solution focused. So focusing on the solution. So there's this really great exercise that she gave that I want to share with you because it really helped me uh, <laughs> become a little bit more ha happier around my my uh, around my health. So one of the things that, so the first step, let me give you the, the steps first. She said the first step is to think about a situation that you've been complaining about because you're unhappy about. And she said rate how you feel um, about it on a scale of 1 to 10. So 1 is I'm the least satisfied about the situation and 10 being I'm the most satisfied. So rate yourself. Um, I gave myself, well, this, let me give you kind of walk you through it while I'm giving you the steps. Um, for me, uh, the area that I was complaining about was my physical energy. It's not where I want it to be, and it's not where it used to be. So my physical energy, I was diagnosed with um, ulcerative colitis, which is an autoimmune disease, in 2006, uh, right before my second year of law school. And so one of the, uh, if you're familiar with autoimmune disease, it's one of the, the biggest uh problems one of the biggest symptoms I guess is low energy fatigue and so uh, that is kind of the thing that I've been complaining about lately because my energy is not where I want it to be so um, I gave myself a five right now in terms of my satisfaction level with that situation so she said okay gr now if you scored um, if you rated a one then you want to skip question number two that I'm getting ready to uh, share with you so if you rated that situation a one skip this next question number two and go right to number three okay but if you uh, rated yourself two and above then go to this next question question number two okay you did not score one so write down what you're doing currently and write down as many things that you can think of that caused you to rate your level of satisfaction at the number you scored and not lower so write down what you're currently doing and write down as many things as possible that is allowing you, that's causing you to rate your satisfaction level at the level that you wrote down and not lower. So for me, it was, okay, it's a five. So it's not like it's at a one, the lowest, like, you know, so it's a five. So there's something that I'm doing that is making me at least a little bit satisfied with the situation. And I can tell you what it is. And I wrote, wrote it down. I am drinking Shakeology, which is a, like a meal replacement drink. I'm exercising and another thing that's helping me uh, with my energy a little bit is just doing things in my business every single day that I love. I do videos like this one. So if you want to learn how I do videos online and make money, you can go to earnmoneywithangela.com. Uh, but these are some of the things that have been helping me and helping me to rate my current satisfaction with my energy uh, a five and not a one. So you want to write that down. So number three, and this would be the question that you skipped to if you rated yourself a one. But go ahead here to number three. What would be the first tiny signs that your satisfaction has increased by one point? Think carefully and write down as many things as you can. What would be the first tiny signs that your satisfaction has increased by one point? I don't know if mine, my, uh, mine is tiny enough, but I said that um, I would be like laughing more, I would have more uh, energy, I would be sleeping better, I would be waking up and having more energy and I would be able to get things done throughout the day without having to crash and take a nap, right? So those would be the things, I don't know if that's tiny enough, but those are the things that I wrote down, right? So then she said in, in question number four, in light of what you've just written down in step three, what are the first small steps that you could take in the next day to increase your satisfaction with this situation? So one of the things that I learned from doing question number th uh, two about what are the things, I, the things that I'm doing is that I realized that there's some things that I had stopped doing, like eating consistently every three to four hours, and that helped me a lot with my energy. So this exercise helped me reveal <laughs> some things that I had stopped doing, um, and that might come up and show up for you too. So for me, one of the first small steps, I said that I am going to... Um, 
what are the first thoughts, first small steps you can take in the next day to increase your satisfaction? Well, uh, laughing more, I said, gives, gives me will get me would give me a little bit more uh, satisfaction and give me a little bit more energy. So I said I'm going to uh, whenever I feel drained or exhausted or tired, I'm going to watch something funny, so a t funny television show, so that will get me laughing, right, and boost my energy. The other thing is I said that I'm going to commit to uh, eating every three to four hours again like I used to to uh, help with my energy. And then I'm also going to um, go to bed earlier. So now she said begin to take some of these actions you've listed in, in number four and start to notice times when you're a little more satisfied and build on whatever you're doing that helps you. This is how to be more happy. You become more solution focused. So instead of complaining about the problem, because I've been saying, why am I so tired? Why am I lacking energy? Why, 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 right? <laughs> and then doing this exercise actually answered the question of why. Why are, you, why are you so tired, Angela? It's because you haven't been consistently doing the things that used to work anymore. So I hope that this exercise will actually be helpful to you like it was for me. And if you want to get access to this book, it's really good. This is just like I'm in the first like 50 or no first 63 pages of it and it's already this good really great practical uh steps and exercises to help you become more happy so it's called happy for no reason by marcy shimoff highly recommend it if you want to get access and buy that book you can click on the link in the video description box below and then if you want to learn um the, about the online business that i'm doing how i'm able to do videos like this and make money online and it's helping me be a little bit more happy because i'm get to do what i love if you want to learn how to do what you love and and be more happy doing what you love to do online and get paid to do it. Go to earnmoneywithangela.com.